Mendel Palace. What an interesting game. You flip some cards, you kill some dudes, you beat the boss, you save the princess. When it comes to co-op, there's not many games that are better than this one. I like it, and it's definitely worth checking out. So, quick plot time. You are Bon Bon, yeah, just like the damn candy. Awesome. And you rescue the princess named Candy. For fuck's sake, Nintendo. She isn't in another castle. She's not taken hostage by some evil dude. No, 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 no. She's lost in her own goddamn dream. Someone get this bitch some clonazepam. In the Japanese version, she is named Quinty. Don't know why, don't really care. So I'm left wondering, why Mendel Palace? Well, what the hell's a Mendel? I mean, there's a botanist dude with the name Mendel, but what's a Mendel Palace? Well, I did some research and I didn't find shit, uh, except this. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty hardcore Japanese. And of course there's a comic or manga, whatever it's called, of this game because it's Japanese and Japanese have to have a story for everything, even some dumbass game where you just flip fucking cards. But I digress. In Quinty, your name is Carton. And you're saving your girlfriend, Janae, who was kidnapped by your sister, Quinty. Now that's some good old American Jerry Springer bullshit right there. Are the games different because of this? No, so who gives a shit? Flip some damn cards and let's move on. With a unique game mechanic, lots of fun characters, and names such as Namco, Hudson Soft, and Game Freak. Yeah, those Pokemon bastards. It sets up a good first impression. A lot of first impressions lead to piles of shit. I'm sure you've heard of this game. Oh yeah, maybe you've heard of this game. This one's a pretty good title, but it's still a piece of shit. So let's see if this game ends up being one of those steaming piles. Let's do this. As mentioned before, you flip these cards and splat the dolls into the walls and shit. Yeah, dolls. Not enemies, not monsters, freaking dolls. God damn it, Japan. Fucking dolls. Sometimes you flip a card and nothing happens. Awesome. Sometimes you flip a card and random crap appears. Kick ass. But sometimes you flip them and more enemies appear. Son of a bitch! This is one of the biggest dick moves in any game I have ever dealt with. Getting rid of these portals can be a nightmare. Some portals just stay there as to say, Yeah, you thought I'd go away, but I'll never go away. Fuck you and your hooker chicken head gutter slut girlfriend. And what makes this such a dick move is that you need to splat all the dolls on the screen to continue. If you're lucky, you'll flip over a star, a 5 second addition to the timer, a spinny thing, some roulette thing, a moon tile, or some kind of bonus star game tile. You can also get tiles that act like waves or fans, and even a sun that sends a wave through the entire stage, killing everything it touches. Hell yeah! Fuck you, you jumping jackass ass hat dolls. But even these tiles can be a dick move in disguise. Look at this fucker. Or how about this bullshit? Except these dumbass dolls. I swear this level can't be beat without flipping every goddamn card until it turns in the metal tile and then running around like an asshole until they draw everywhere else! Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Fuck you. No. Go. Get it. Get it. No. 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 Run. 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 God damn it! It's going down right now. Hmm. Okay, done. Done. Flick. Flick. Oh, son! I need that son. I need that son. I need that son. Go, go, go. Get out of my way. Get out. Oh, shit. No. Get that son. Yes. Okay. Just draw, bitch. Draw. 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 Ninja skills. Draw, bitch. Go. 
Go. Go. Go. Draw, bitch. Go. Oh my god, yes. Draw, bitch. Draw, bitch. Oh my god, draw, bitch. Draw. Yes. Oh my god. I swear this game gives me aneurysms. Although these dirty dumpster dick touching drawing doll dykes are some of the hardest levels in the game, there are all sorts of crazy enemies in this game. All with 10 levels, all exponentially increasing difficulty that leads up to a final confrontation with Quinty, your sister. Whatever. I just call her this bitch. This can be the easiest boss battle ever, or a sack full of pure frustration. In co-op, it's almost too easy. But in single player, be ready for a lot of run-enders due to turning into dumbass dolls or just running around and picking your own ass while trying to find an opening for an attack. That will never fucking happen. If you get lucky, you can get extra lives from these roulette thingies. Or you can collect a hundred stars for extra lives. So goddamn original. So unless you care about top score that resets every time you turn off the game, fuck it! You get unlimited continues, and you start right where you left off on each level. So essentially you get three lives to beat every single level in order all the way through the game. There's really no excuse why you can't get through this one. So, let's do an enemy, I mean doll, roll call. You got clan member clones turn into mini clan member clones. The jumping jackasses. aforementioned dirty dumpster dick touching drawing doll dykes, the Fido Dido fuckheads, the copycat crack whores, the banana hammock butt bombers, the spinning slut sisters, or Connie Coneheads. I am not a little cone anymore, Dad. Maintain low tones with me. Maintain low tones. These fat fucks. And the ninjas. Are ridiculous. They constantly are kicking you in the shit. They randomly run at lightning pace. And every stage gives you a new version of this fuckery. It's like ordering shit from 10 different animals on ipoopyou.com. Yeah, I'm sure there's reasons for each, but it's just 10 different piles of shit in one box. Eventually, you beat these asshats, throw this idiot into the wall, and defeat Quinto, your sister... That bitch. And save the princess. Little smoochy smooch. And credit roll. You gotta love this Calibri font ending screen. God damn it, Japan. Okay, so I've been dogging this game pretty hard, but I have to admit, Mendopolis is a great game. It's probably my go-to game for co-op. It holds that special nostalgia to me, and even though it has those aggravating qualities, I find myself constantly going back to this one. So is it a good game? Yeah, I think it's pretty badass. When it comes down to it, I love this game. Mendel Palace is legit, and can be beaten within an hour with a good run. It takes practice, but with unlimited continues, you'll eventually get there. Flipping cards and splatting enemies into the walls can be very satisfying. And hitting a sun and watching the whole board getting destroyed makes you feel like God. The different enemy types keep the game interesting. And being able to tackle them in any order can make each gameplay a bit more unique. It's not your typical platformer, RPG, or anything else in the library. And most games that only have a one player mechanic usually have to add power-ups, character changes, and other gimmicks to keep it from becoming stale. But Mendel Palace found a way to take the basic attack structure and make a totally intriguing and investing game. I mean, 
What else did you expect from a Hudson Soft title? That's the great. That's the great. Yeah, Namco is pretty cool too, I guess. And, and yes, Pokemon kicks ass. Yeah, yeah. Moving on. Overall, this game kicks some major ass. Especially if you got a friend who's looking for some hardcore co-op action. You can get this game anywhere for about 10 bucks. So I can't think of a better way to spend an AHAM note. You're gonna get your ass handed to you a lot. But honestly, fuck the score and just have fun. I like to keep screenshots of my high scores, so here's my high score from this playthrough. It's not my highest, and I'm sure you can beat it too, but that just adds another layer of fun for those who want a challenge. I may even throw this game on the girlfriend games list because the truth is, you can die a million times and still beat this game. But don't let that fool you. This game will destroy you. Over, and over, and over. But a little persistence will lead to many hours of fun and eventually success. So yeah, check this one out, it's pretty good. And then post your high scores on Twitter and tag me so I can see if you noobs can keep up with my high score. Ha, <laughs> that's right. Alright guys, so Mental Palace, pretty good. Check it out and peace out you dirty dumpster dick touching drawing doll dykes. I'm out.